Good morning, YouTube friends. Um, so today it's April 3rd. We're six days out. Um, it is 10 a.m. I've been up since 7.30. Uh, I did have a breakfast that I showed you guys last night. Um, I had three or three, yeah, three ounces of ground chicken and a cup of shredded lettuce with one tablespoon of coconut oil for breakfast. Um, I had a glass of water and I just recorded a podcast with um, Whitney. So she's a she's a newbie competitor. She's competed four times. So that episode will be up this week. I don't know when this video will be up, but I'm posting that episode. So if you guys didn't know, I host a podcast. So I really can only record podcasts on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, because my prep schedule is kind of crazy. So I don't really have weekday availability to record. So I always try to record an episode if I can with an athlete on the weekends, which was today. And then I have another one scheduled April 16th that I was supposed to do yesterday, but we moved it to April 16th. So yeah, so a couple, I like to record um, podcasts to talk with other amateur competitors that are on the road to pro like myself because I think their story is so authentic and I love just to hear why people get into competing and hopefully some people that come onto my podcast go pro and that would be really cool. So yeah, that is what I did. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I woke up and I was like, wow, I... I don't understand why I've just been so tired lately. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna go lay in bed for a little while because I have to do 40 minutes of cardio and a full workout, but I just don't have the energy for it. So I'm gonna take my supplements. Uh, I'm gonna drink some more water. I'm gonna try to drink my gallon early. Um, I have all my food planned. Today is a zero carb day. Um, so I thought that today, because I'm not really eating anything and you kind of already saw that we could just do the Q and a, um, I have a few questions that you guys wanted to know. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this camera. I guess I'll just put it on my cup and hopefully this doesn't fall into the cup. This is literally on a glass of water. Okay, so I thought I look crazy right now because I'm freezing cold. In prep, I get so cold, so I am in a sweatshirt with my workout pants on. I have fuzzy socks on and slippers, and I have a fuzzy robe. So this is just me in my natural peak week state. So I know a lot of you guys asked for um, some questions for peak week and what you wanted to see. So I did take some screenshots of that slash questions that you had. Okay, so I'm gonna go over, so this is a peak week Q and A. Okay, so let's see. Tips to improve mobility and flexibility for posing. I'm not flexible at all. Okay, so uh, I have a foam roller and a yoga wheel. I don't use it all the time. Um, it's really just practice. So you could stand with your hands on a countertop in your back pose and like really arch your spine and kind of press your hands on a countertop and like pull yourself up tall while you're pushing your pelvis back. Um, it's just about literally practicing, like really, really pushing your glutes back. It's just, it's just about practicing. So you could do stretching, practicing, it's just getting the back muscle strong too. Um, yeah, so stretch and practice, man. It sucks, but you just have to keep making it hurt once it hurts in your back pose. You can also take your hands on your internal thighs and press. So then you can pull yourself upward um, in your back pose and that might help push your glutes back a little bit. Um, Someone says, Death need to know how you keep your hair so full and healthy. Thank you. Um, I have naturally really curly hair, so I don't use a lot of heat on it, at, if at all. So um, try to minimize your heat and then wear it natural if you can, and then don't wash it with shampoo every single day. Um, you need to have the natural oils in your hair to keep it like healthy. So it's like every three to five days, depending on how hard you work out, is when you would actually wash with shampoo. Um, you can always wet it if you need or dry shampoo. Um, and then I have like a curly hair routine that I've started back again. So whenever I do wash it, it's like a shampoo on, only on the top, conditioner only on the ends, um, and then what else do I do? So once you get out of the shower, you can blow dry it a little bit. 
um, diffusing it and then there's like curl cream I have curl mousse and then I have oil like um, hair oil it's is what I do and then I do fish oil I have a multivitamin and a fish oil that I think is the reason why my hair stays super healthy and naturally genetics like I'm native American and Mexican so I just have naturally super thick hair um, but that is my recommendations for you and then don't use the hair ties that are like super tight um, I don't think I even have a hair tie I use the ones that are like spiral and I guess that's supposed to be better for your hair so it doesn't break okay what are you excited about most for your show oh okay um, I think I'm excited just to see my hard work, just to like see it because I don't know, like I'm really just excited to, I don't know, get on stage and just pose and get more comfortable being on stage and kind of get some feedback and just make sure that I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to. I'm really excited just to see my coach and help get some last minute posing check-ins um, and fixes before nationals. Just working towards a goal like really makes me happy and I know that going to my first show is like step one of the process and I really wanna win. I'm not gonna lie, like I've been chasing a win since 2017 so I'd really love to win. Um, and also being with my family. So I'm just there to have fun. I'm just like I'm there for I'm there for the show vlog. I'm there to have fun, um, to meet people, just to like be in the environment. I just get motivated myself once I am in a show and I see how many girls are working so hard and I hear some stories and you meet more athletes and it's just a super motivating to be at a show and just like I love that feeling of just being involved in the industry. Um, no questions, but I want to send positive thoughts and slay the week. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. You guys don't know, like, the messages, uh, I, I pretty much read and see every message. It's like, I'm not a big influencer. I'm not. I am, so I, I try to respond to everything. I try to respond to all my comments. I try to, I, I pretty much read everything. And so sometimes those little comments mean a lot because I'll have some really hard days and then someone will randomly pop into, you know, a YouTube comment or a question box or Instagram or something and just send me some positive vibes and like those are the little things that keep me going and so thank you so much for your positive thoughts thank you guys um how much carbs did you eat before prepping that is such a weird weird question how much carbs did you eat before prepping like in my off season uh maybe 150 grams of carbs maybe 200 I was at 1750 calories was my highest calories in my off season. We don't ever really go super high calories for myself. I'm, I'm someone that doesn't need a ton of calories to gain weight. So yeah, I was probably in the max I hit was like 150 grams of carbs, um, which was like 20 or 30 grams of carbs five times a day. Um, that was in my like off season ish. And then yeah. Any tips for getting rid of stubborn body fat? Girl, cardio, man. It's just, um, it sucks, but an incline treadmill, um, that's what I would do. Honestly, that's the last place of body fat to come off. It's just really gonna come off from your diet, being 100% on your diet and low carbs. Um, that's, what, that's what works for me is low carbs and low fat and a lot of cardio so you know what it sucks and it's miserable drink your water take your supplements like don't overcomplicate it don't give in to cravings stubborn body fat sucks because it is stubborn but you have to like push through so if it's really not if you're really having trouble with a certain area make sure you have all of your boxes in line like are you on your diet perfectly? Are you on your cardio perfectly? Um, those different things would really help. Um, but just like adding consistent cardio um, and getting your diet as clean as you can is really gonna be the only way to get that fat off. There's no fat burner out there that's going to help. There's no supplements or pills or whatever that's going to help get the stubborn fat. It's just hard work, honestly, and it sucks. So. Oh, you can, okay, one little tip. You can do what I call, we call it warm cardio, where when you do your cardio, you are full dressed in like a sweatshirt and like pants. 
um, just so you can sweat a little bit more. That might help a little bit. Um, anything different this prep to others? You got this girl, almost time. Yeah, everything. Everything's different. Everything is different. Um, my mindset, my mindset, um, our, how we're peaking has changed. Um, I got ready early and it wasn't even this prep, but it was that I was good in my off season before this prep. So this prep hasn't been as hard as it has been in the past because I stayed on my diet during my off season last year. So it's been slow and steady. I haven't been stressing and I kind of like took the timeline out of it. Um, I just haven't been focusing on the show date. It's been more, I've been focusing on what I can change in the moment, every single workout, every single day. I just keep asking myself, like, are you doing enough? If not, like, we have to improve. Looking at, at the end of the day, like, kind of leaving whatever feelings I had at the end of the day with that day. So when the day is a new day, I always have a new mindset of a new opportunity just because maybe yesterday my workout wasn't the best i know that today is a new day and i can just keep improving so i just stop trying to look long term from like i have to improve show to show it's more so i trust the process and i know that my coach is i trust him to make me improve from show to show so now all i have to do is execute my plan this day this workout this hour and just really breaking it down keeping it super simple um keeping it super clean just just doing it man just committing and just i think intensity i really i really picked up my intensity for cardio i went above and beyond any amount of effort that i've done in the past before when i would get tired i would kind of maybe lower the incline or lower the pace and now it's like i track my steps I keep my intensity the same on cardio the entire time. If I have 20 minutes, I'm doing 20 minutes full, all out. I'm not gonna slack around. Um, I'm just kind of being mindful of all of those different things. Um, yeah. And then I think, what else? Do you have a show day checklist? Um, yes, but I think that's something in the past that has stressed me out if I pack too early um, or if I pack too late. So a lot of times I pack late, I pack last minute, but that's not something that I wanna do for this show because I have a lot going on this week. So we will be doing a packing a packing video. Um, I don't know if, I might start it. I don't know if it's gonna be in this video, but you will see a packing list from me. It's pretty much my advice for your packing list is check bag, carry on. Carry on, food, heels, suit. So. Worst case scenario, if your bag is lost, you can still get on stage, right? Heels, suit, food. Food, it's like you can buy it there. So as long as you have your suit, your heels, and like your jewelry and stuff like that, and your ID, and you'll be fine. Keep that in your carry-on, and then the rest of it, it's kind of like extra stuff. So like having makeup and having a hair curler, having the dark sheets, tanning outfits, having black sheets, having um, a makeup wipes, hairspray, a brush, uh, a towel, a blanket to lay on backstage, pump up bands, um, extra jewelry, extra suit, posing suit. Uh, yeah, so like having all of those things ahead of time. Um, but it is important to make a list, like your charger. There's just like some little things that I know that I have forgot at last show. Like I forgot hairspray and I needed that because my last show, my hair got really frizzy, so I'm not forgetting that this time. Um, makeup wipes, because you have so much makeup on that I just wanna get it off my face. And like face wash, all that different stuff, but I just know that if I forget anything, I'm getting there early. I always travel at least two days before stage. So if you're competing on Saturday, I'm going to be there. I'm leaving Thursday. One, if my flight gets canceled on Thursday, I still have Friday. Or I have a flight booked mid-morning. So that way I have time, or like in the afternoon. So it's not rushed. So I don't have to get up super early. I can still sleep in. If I need to do cardio, if I need to train, I can do it beforehand. I have time to like go to the store one last time. And I took the day off of work on Wednesday 
before I fly out on Thursday off. So I will be off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. And I do that because mentally I'm kind of checked out and I know that and I'm, I've done it before where I try to work to the last minute and that is not okay for me. So I just need to make sure I have time, make sure I have things packed just for what myself mentally. So that way, Wednesday, I have that day off. That day, I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to finalize packing. I'm going to make sure I have my camera, make sure I have memory cards, make sure my phone, I have cash, I have the card, I have every little thing. So that way, once I actually leave there should be no stress i'm leaving all the stress behind um just give yourself extra time to get there if it's financially possible um if not it does kind of hurt you but especially when you're trying to figure out how to peak i'm doing i'm trying to replicate this so that way when i go to nationals i'm doing the exact same thing so i'm trying to document as much as i can about this week for youtube and for myself so then we can replicate it so it's just important you know when you have your checklist like if there's anything if you're at your show and you're like, oh, it would have been nice to have this. Like, start to write those things down so you don't forget for the next time. But I will, I will put a packing um, video out here soon. I think I might already have one on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Someone asked, how's my sleep? Honestly, I sleep pretty good. Um, I have to medicate myself, so I'll just take like two Benadryl at night, and then sometimes I will take. Um, I usually take an edible or CBD. Um, so that's been very nice because my sleep is so important that I don't ever miss sleep. I, I, I understand how important it is. And so I'm very grumpy if I do not get my sleep. So don't mess with my sleep. But I'm a grandma, so I like to go to bed at like 9 and get up at like 5 or 6. But on the weekends, I sleep in. So today, I slept until 7.30. Someone said, do you take any caffeine products, supplements? Do you take any caffeine products slash supplements during peak week? No. Oh, okay. Caffeine, no. Unfortunately, we cut out all artificial sweeteners, including caffeine. Anything that could potentially cause bloat. So this is no artificial sweet. This is no sauces. This is no pops, like sparkling waters. This is no BCAAs. This is no caffeine, because caffeine could kind of put your body in a stressful state, and maybe it could affect your sleep. During peak week, there's nothing that I take that's like, maybe psyllium husk to help with fiber, to help with me like, going to the bathroom and like pooping right. Um, that's the only thing that I probably have added. And then maybe, what else did I add? I don't think there's anything else that I've added. That's the only thing. Someone asked, they post-show treat meal. Um, I like cookies. I really do like cookies. Something sweet, something chocolate, something lemon. I like lemon flavored something and something chocolatey, um, but post-show meal, I really don't care. Like I really, really, really don't even have a favorite meal because I've been eating so clean for the last five years. Um, but maybe, I don't know, I'm not a burger person. Like whatever's rec popular on wherever menu I go to. So, um, like steak, steak and bread or potatoes. If they have a peanut butter jelly burger, it's all it's going down. Sweet potato fries, if they have it, I love sweet potato fries. Um, and then some type of dessert. Nothing, nothing, nothing too fun or fancy. How does your training change? Are you taking any extra supplements? Um, I talked about psyllium husk because I just need help with digestion. So adding a little bit of psyllium husk in the morning can help you with digestion. I take out um, vegetables pretty close to show because again, those could throw off digestion a little bit. So a couple days before the show, I won't do digestion. My training has changed, as you guys know. Um, so we went from doing a bodybuilding body part split. I don't know if that's the term, but um, six days a week of training. It was three glutes, two shoulders, and a back day um, was the workout I was doing last week. But when we get into peak week, we go into a full body three sets of high reps of 12 exercise. So I hit my entire body. And we do, like I said, like 30 reps. So it's like three sets, two to three sets 
of 30 reps and really lightweight so we're not trying to build muscle we're just trying to get inflammation out we're trying to just get a nice solid full body pump just to kind of pump the carbs that i've been having to the muscles so i stay full and get that tight hard look um so what that looks like is kind of i hit everything i hit i hit lats i hit back um i hit biceps and triceps which i don't train i haven't technically trained a actual bicep tricep workout since 2019 i don't need that size i don't ever train quads but we did quads it's it's everything it is a leg press a hamstring curl it's just a pumping flowing it's just take your body parts take every single body part and do three sets of like 30 reps or something just to kind of get blood flow to the muscle um any rituals you have on show day or days leading up to the show um you guys already kind of saw that i'm very ocd when it comes to my food and packing for shows so i like to write things down i like to have it methodically packed in little baggies and like that's one thing that i do um any rituals i will watch the olympia a lot probably pretty soon i always will watch the olympia posing routines um on show day i've always done that because in my mind when i step on stage i am at olympia and that is how i want to walk out is like i try to put myself in the mindset of honestly you guys know how much i love laura lee so laura lee has been my inspiration this year and so you know when i walked on the fashion show stage i was like how would laura lee walk on the fashion show stage right now like be that person embody her or i'll say you know like how would you feel if you were on the olympia stage or if you were already a pro or you know like this was your show and people were only coming to see you or something like that or like you know how would beyonce go off stage like this is your performance like halftime performance or whatever so that is kind of what i do like right before i go up to stage but any rituals um i'll just watch the olympia posing routines just to get inspired um yeah i just will watch that sometimes this week i'll go watch my old show day vlogs and get i almost will i will probably cry this week because i get so emotional during peak week it happens every single peak week i get emotional so i'll probably go watch my stage videos and like my vlogs i will honestly probably binge watch my entire prep series from the last from like my first vlog to my last one or like my peak week vlogs and stuff like that and just like I might cry because I just, I don't know, I just work really hard. And so I really, I try to make, I try to like reflect. I look back at where I was at the beginning of this prep. So I'll do side by side comparisons between now and how I started the prep. I'll do side by side comparisons between now and last show. I'll look at last show and I'll try to go back and see what I was eating and like what my stats were. Um, I'll just kind of assess. It's like, did I make progress? And pretty much I'm just, I know I made progress, but I want to visually be able to see it. So I really look back and reflect and be like, wow, I spent so much time and like we deserve this. We earned it. We are, you know, deserving. I do self affirmations. I might write stuff down of like, you know, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'll write all this stuff down in past tense and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of weird, but I do it. It's, it's great, you know, so I'll just try to keep it as positive as possible. Um, I listen to a lot of motivating podcasts, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I listen to podcasts that are talking about um, not giving up and becoming a champion and you have to believe it that you can and all these different stuff and just get that energy and keep my aura and energy because I want that to come on stage. If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect the judges to believe in you on stage? So I... I know that I've gotten on stage at, like in 2020 and I didn't believe 
that I was capable and it's more so like I know I can be a pro and I'm just going to show the world my hard work and so this show while it's a small show it's a regional show it is just important as if this was the most it's literally the most important show of my life because this is gonna be the show that I come back from a whole year of being off that I have to get top two to compete for a pro card so like even though it's small, I try to make it feel as special. And so mentally, that's kind of what I do. And I just really hype myself up all week long. Um, how you carb load in water, sodium, and tack for the week. Yeah. So um, sodium, I love salt. I love salt. I will keep salt in. So I got a new Himalaya pink shake. Himalayan salt shaker. So I got that yesterday because I was out because I eat I eat so much salt. So I got a new one yesterday. So I was putting it all over my food. And I don't really like I think some people I've seen put like it in tablespoons and like weigh it out. I don't I don't I don't really do that. I've never done that. Um, if you're someone who does it, just continue to do it the same way. I'll just put a bunch of cracks until I feel like it's good. Um, like, you know, like your little shakers, you just crack the little salt thing. So I'll just crack it like a couple times and then um, I'll keep my sodium the same. How you carb load in water. Water will be the exact same except for show day. I will drink minimal water. So I'm gonna drink a gallon every single day in peak week. And then the day of show, I'm gonna sip water until about noon and then I'll drink maybe, I think it's four ounces every hour. So I'll probably by the time I actually step on stage, I'll probably have a half gallon done. So probably no more than a half gallon on show day. And then after I get off stage for finals, I literally am so thirsty because I'm so used to drinking a gallon every single day. I never not drink my gallon that I will probably just go chug water and it's like, there's, there's no limit to how much water I can drink post-show because I am just like thirsty. Um, must day items for show day packing. Blanket. Fuzzy socks. Black outfits. Headphones. Carbs. Vlog camera. Charger. Uh... I don't know. That's probably it. Must must haves. Um, a robe, silk robe. I think that's probably it. Slippers, 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 slippers. That's it. Um, let's see what else. I think that's everything. Let me see if there's any more questions. Show us what you pack, okay, guys. In skin prep. And that's it. Okay, so that's so far. Let me check on Instagram to make sure that I had all of my questions answered. Or I got all of your questions answered. I think I did. Yeah, so that's all the questions that I had submitted to me on um, Instagram so far. So that's gonna conclude our Peak Week Q&A. Thanks for tuning into this video. If there's any questions that I missed about show day, um, let me know what show day questions that you have. Um, I know that there's probably gonna be some questions about how I reverse out of this show. Um, I don't know those answers yet, but just make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm gonna have a lot more vlogs this season. I'm planning to compete a lot and I want you guys to learn as much as possible. So make sure you guys drop what questions and stuff that you'd like to see on this channel going forward. So thanks as always. I am going to get my life together and I am gonna go to the gym. So the rest of the day, I'm just gonna go eat my meals so no carbs today so my energy is low so i'm not gonna probably vlog the rest of the day because i don't like to vlog when my energy is low and it's sunday so i go to work on monday so we will keep tuning in for another kind of part this is part two of peak week and i'll do a part three which is my packing so see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe i love you guys